morning guys uh, this morning uh unit came in uh driver stated that the unit was leaking oil there's a decent sized puddle under the unit so uh bus didn't go on route today because of the oil leak i went ahead and brought it into the shop and i'm gonna go ahead and uh, go through it real quick and see if we can find out what the problem is with this unit uh the puddle was substantial so uh it could be a high pressure hose it could be who knows uh, i'm gonna go ahead and go through every little nook and cranny and see if i can find out what causing that oil leak on this unit all right guys all right let me get to work well guys uh this is the front of the engine this is the timing cover area uh you can see tensioner idler pulleys fans so on and so forth and yes there is some oil i mean you can tell that it's kind of wet it is fresh oil and by looking at it i did find a small little problem in the front case uh, you have a cam sensor on can't see it from here it's right behind that tensioner uh, cam, cam sensors there's like saturated oil around it it's very very fresh oil so I'm assuming that the problem is going to be a cam sensor but it's very little oil that that leak would not cause the oil to puddle under the engine compartment so that's a problem that we're going to address but that is not the entire problem uh, we got we got to keep looking there's got to be something else so let me go ahead and keep going and let's see what we find well guys uh, we found the problem as you can see the leaf spring is completely saturated in oil and if you can see the oil is going back see that exhaust pipe and look at that filter just by looking at the filter I already know that whoever did the oil change on this one previously used the wrong filter uh, filter that goes on this particular unit it's a DT 466 uh, these engines take a 7744 XD which is I mean the ones we have here are all black this is a 7701 so this is meant for a max force DT so they installed the wrong filter on this unit uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove the filter and uh, replace it that should take care of a problem well guys uh, we're under the bus I just wanted to show you guys what the underside looks like you see that filter that's all fresh oil and of course if you go back you see that this is where the oil uh, this is causing that oil to puddle under the engine compartment the leak is at the actual oil filter they use the wrong oil filter so we're gonna go ahead and snap that one off and go ahead and install a new one clean this area up and that should take care of the problem I mean we'll go ahead and start it up and kind of check it for a while so keep it on for a little while see if the leak persists or if it's gone I right, guess let me get this thing off Well guys, uh, the filter is not that it's incorrect, uh, this is the correct filter. The reason it's wide is because it's an international part, it came from the dealer. Uh, the ones we use, the other blankets we use come from Napa, different part number, different color, so on and so forth. But it was the correct filter, but yes, the filter was faulty. Uh, seal here at this end was a little mangled probably happened during the install it might have been a manufactured defect but whatever it was it was causing this oil just to run all along the filter and the bottom of the unit is pretty filthy so we're going to have to power wash the hell out of the bottom of it and uh, get it some, somewhat clean the filter's been replaced we can go ahead and crank this puppy over and uh, let it run for a good 20-30 minutes see if uh, we actually stop that oil leak uh, we'll find out pretty quick so this one uh, at first I thought it was going to be a major timing cover something like that I'm kind of glad that it, it just turned out to be a bad oil filter so I guess we looked out on this one alright guys that's going to be it for now thanks for watching